Extra, Sports Extra, brought to you by Bantera Bank and the SIU Credit Union. Now, News 3 Sports Extra. Sports Extra. Sports Extra. Welcome to Saturday Sports Extra. I'm Kelly Burke. We hit the high school hardwood a little later, but first, SAU basketball looks for their second road win of the season under the bright lights of Las Vegas. The Salukis play two games in two days. Up first is the Toreros, and the Dogs dug themselves a hole in the first half, down 42-29 to at the half. SAU was in foul trouble early and allowed San Diego to shoot 67%, but the Salukis come back in dramatic fashion late in this game, down by 10 with three minutes to go, Carlton Fay hits two free throws to seal the 70 to 68 win. Justin Bocott finished the game with 22 points. Well, elsewhere in the MVC, Indiana State edges Toledo while Drake falls at Iowa. Let's take you to some more MVC scores. Illinois State scores a 10 point win over Utah and Creighton comes up short against New Mexico. Missouri State still undefeated with a 10 point win over SLU and Northern Iowa a big winner over North Dakota. And Wichita State upsets Texas Tech today, while Evansville a big winner over UT Martin. Meanwhile, at the arena tonight, the Saluki women return to action against Murray State. SAU still looking for their first win. First half action, Katarina Garcia. A little spin action and drains the J for an 8-5 lead. Then the Salukis in transition. Stephanie Neptune finding Christine Presswood for the 13-5 lead. But Murray State coming back. Kayla Nance drains the tray to cut it to one, 13 to 12, and late in the half, SAU needing a spark. Neptune bringing up the ball, stopping and popping right here. She had 28 rebounds in this game. SAU trailed by four at the half. Saluki's lead right now, 74-71, late in overtime. Well, more college basketball, John Calipari could break the record for best start by a first-year head coach with Kentucky's 11th straight win. John Wall, the super freshman early, the steal and slam has a catch up 14, but second half, Governor's down nine. John Fraley stuffs Patrick Patterson and West Channels pushing the pace pulls up for the tray Austin P cuts it to six but later in the half Kentucky up 10 wall back in the game after a brief knee injury the freshman taking it coast to coast Wildcats starting to pull away and then Patterson for the monster jam is Kentucky 11 and 0 with a 90 to 69 win. And the Illini hit the road to Georgia. Bruce Weber's squad has won four straight games. Second half action. Travis Leslie inside for the finish and the foul. Georgia up nine in this game, but they call them the Fighting Illini for a reason. Mike Tisdale, the rejection, the steal, and gets it ahead to Dimitri McCamey for the hoop and the harm. Illinois goes up 67 64. But Trey Tompkins was clutch late at the line for Georgia. Four straight free throws for a three-point lead. And one last chance for Illinois. McCamey's three-point try off the mark as Illinois falls 70-67. to We'll shift into the high school hardwood now. It was another busy night in the River to River regions. And Pinckneyville fresh off their rivalry win last night over Nashville. Tonight visiting Heron. Tigers looking to bounce back from a three-point loss to Harrisburg. But Santa decided to come to this game and hand out basketballs to all the girls and boys before this one started. Now we start the game, though, with Heron's DeMarlo Harris. The hoop and the harm inside. Then on the other side of the court, Pinckneyville's Drew Dudek off the rim, but rebounded by teammate Kyle Lamb for the deuce and the abuse. Later, Tiger player Alex Brown off the glass, going to give Heron a three-point lead. Harris again with a fight to the basket, followed by Panthers. Nathan Morton with his own fight to the hoop. And Pinckneyville going to win this game 58-47. to well, other river to river scores from tonight. AJ, a 16 point winner over Massac County, while Chester takes down Herculaneum of Missouri. Harrisburg, 53 to 49 over West Frankfurt and Nashville, all over Benton tonight, 66 to 32. And in Wayne City, the Conrad Allen Championship game between unbeating Crab Orchard and Ziegler Royalton. Early in the first, ZR has a four point lead, but the Trojans going to cut it in half with this Lawrence Killen fast break bucket. It's 8 to 6 now. And a couple of plays later, the Tornadoes capitalize off the Trojan miss with a fast break of their own as Tyler Mitchell stretches ZR's lead to six. But the Trojans battled here. Adam Perry cleaning up the Ben Kissing miss and converts for the deuce and the damage. Trojans within four. Then with time winding down in the first, Dylan Hudson puts up the three ball. And even though it was eight at night, the bank was still open. Crab Orchard holds on to win, stays undefeated 14-0. 63 to 59 the final there. 
And the Constellation Games from Wayne City, Edwards County takes third over Batoka, and Wayne City captures fifth. And moving on to the next score, Hamilton County going to down El Dorado Knight 63 to 52, while Trico beats El Verado 66 to 13. Big. Moving on to some more scores, Oakville falls at Pinckneyville, Nashville going to beat West Frankfort tonight 41 to 36. And in one more girl score for you, it's Elder. El Dorado 49 to 42 over Johnston City. Well, SAU's football season has been finished for a couple weeks after a quarterfinal loss to William and Mary. Tomorrow, tune in for one last look at the highlights of the Saluki season, and there were a lot of them. We'll recap the second season and sit down with the dogs 24 departing seniors to get some of their greatest memories and thoughts on their Saluki careers. And catch Darren and Dale tomorrow at 11 a.m. right here on Channel 3. Until then, that's going to wrap up Saturday Sports Extra. I'll see you back here tomorrow at 5. We leave you now with some sounds of the season. The Carterville Junior High School Choir singing Biddy Bomb. Have a good night. Biddy Bomb, Biddy Bomb, Biddy Bomb, Biddy Bomb, Biddy Bomb, Biddy Bomb.